Hey YouTube, this is EnjoyAlex2539, and I got something to show you today. This isn't a skateboard review or any review at all. I'm just showing you uh, some things that I made. Here's the first one. Uh, made a skateboard rail and metal sculpting at my school. And let's see, the actual rail is about. 38 inches or 3 feet 2 inches. Uh, then uh, this part right here that holds it up is about 8 inches. And the two bases here are 20 inches. What I did to make this is I welded it together, welded some scrap pieces of metal, as you can see right there. And yeah, metal sculpting is probably my favorite class, and it's really fun to learn all of that stuff, and it's pretty handy, too. And, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, I welded it about ten and a half inches in, so it's about even on all sides, and it's a pretty sturdy rail. And also, as you can see, since I made this for a final project, and I got to take it home, just saved myself uh, like a hundred dollars. So, <laughs> I'm pretty glad I took that class. And the second thing I want to show you is my camera handle. My camera handle. Homemade. Saved, my, saved myself about uh, 50 bucks. 55 bucks. What? Let me just fix this real quick. Came unscrewed. So I gotta screw it back in. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Here it is. As you can see, some bolts, a washer, screw. Pretty typical. Uh, these are about 4 inch. And what I'm doing is, I got one screw. Damn. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I got bought one screw that can screw into the uh, bottom of the camera where the tripod goes. And so that can pretty much fit on any camera. I bought a nylon washer to protect it. So. What I'm going to do is, sorry that's blocking the way, put the screw in there, the washer in here, uh, that, and I screw the camera on. So right now I'm going to do camera test, show you comparison, so let me get my skateboard. Ah. Go straight. They're in pretty bad video quality. It's all shaky. Now, if you excuse me a second, I am going to screw this onto the camera handle and show you how good of a quality this is. Alright, that's good. Come on. Let me do it one more time. Uh, yes, there we go. Pretty easy to screw. Here we go, camera handle test. That is so clear. That this is better than holding it. Because the picture is not all wobbly. The is so, as you can see, since I built the camera handle, I'm going to start videotaping skateboarding. 
So I'm probably gonna, uh, instead of just reviews, I'm also going to be posting some other stuff. Some of them will be videos of skateboarding. Most likely, I haven't decided on whether I'm doing that yet, which I probably am. And this camera handle gives me easy access to uh, the camera. Uh, there we go. Here, let me I'll fix this real quick. There we go. So, uh, on this camera handle, I get easy access to the camera, which I really like. And I strongly recommend making one of these because uh, I built this for like four bucks and I was looking online and one of the best camera handles I saw was the Scorpion camera handle which is about 60 70 bucks so I just saved myself about $55 that is shopping I mean really would you actually pay 60 bucks for a camera handle or would you like to build one a uh, high quality skate handle for about four bucks instead of buying one at sixty. I mean sure the scorpion handle will be nice to have, it's a really nice uh camera handle but still I wouldn't pay that much for it. So I strongly recommend making one of these. And with the the nylon washer is kind of important because uh the camera doesn't get scratched or anything doesn't harm the camera so if you're going to make one I strongly recommend getting some like a nylon bolt or a nylon washer to protect your camera so yeah that's my video uh, no review this time but I will be posting more videos so keep watching rate comment subscribe and I'll post more videos